every day the world becomes aware of technologies that have the potential to halt the unnecessary damage we continue to create using fossil fuels. We've been talking about it for years, transitioning our way of life to be more harmonious with the planet and its natural systems. I'm not talking about solar or wind power, although great, I'm talking about clean and green technology that render fossil fuel burning technologies inferior and obsolete. One of these new technologies is a water-fueled car, and it has been unveiled on a number of occasions. It's an automobile that derives its energy directly from water, and water alone. It is not hard to see why it's not available to the masses. An engine powered by water would wipe out a large chunk of the fossil fuel industry and change the way these companies do business altogether. The oil and gas corporations combine to bring in trillions of dollars every year. Inventions like these are a direct threat to the industry. In 1980, Stanley Meyer claimed that he had built a dune buggy that ran on water, although he gave inconsistent explanations as to its mode of operation. In some cases, he claimed that he had replaced the spark plugs with a water splitter, while in other cases it was claimed to rely on a fuel cell that split the water into hydrogen and oxygen. The fuel cell, which he claimed was subjected to an electrical resonance, would split the water mist into hydrogen and oxygen gas, which would then be combusted back into water vapor in a conventional internal combustion engine to produce net energy, using water as fuel. Water makes the perfect fuel source. It's comprised of two hydrogen atoms and one atom of oxygen. When the water molecule is separated into its two component atoms and oxidized as fuel, the result is equivalent to an energy output that is two and one half times more powerful than gasoline. The byproduct of the combustion is water vapor, totally pollution-free, returning water back into the atmosphere. The process used is known as electrolysis, which is a method of separating elements by pushing an electric current through a compound. Various techniques for water splitting have been issued and water splitting patents all over the world. On March 20, 1998, Stanley Allen Meyer was out at dinner with his twin brother Stephen and two Belgian investors. They were out celebrating Meyer's recently patented creation of a car run only by water. It is said that this vehicle could run across the United States on 22 gallons of water. The water could be any kind of water too, it didn't have to be purified or anything. Meyer stressed that tap water, purified, or even salt water could be used as the fuel for the engine. However, Meyer's story took an eerie turn while at this dinner. Directly after taking a drink from his cranberry juice, Meyer clutched his throat and ran outside while vomiting profusely. His last words to his brother before he died were, they poisoned me. The final cause of death was listed as a brain aneurysm, but this brings us back to his final words. Why would someone want to poison Meyer? His invention was closeted and almost blacklisted as no one thought what he was doing was possible until he actually showed them. His car ended up getting a small segment on his local news station. However, there had been a lot of interest from big investment companies, large oil companies, and even the US government. Most were looking to buy Meyer out of his invention, however, Meyer turned them all down. Why did the story get such little coverage by the media? The ethical question raised in the story is that of corporate avarice, and the possibility of government and or big media complicity. The case of Stanley Meyer can be compared to large cigarette companies continuing to produce cigarettes with nicotine in them to keep users addicted. At the risk of millions of lives they continue to produce more and more cigarettes just for profit. The only way to stop this corrupt system is to stand up and get actual media coverage of the buried stories. The idea that money is more important than a person's life goes against all ethical boundaries. Treating people as mere objects is just wrong. Meyer's water car could have greatly hindered the oil industry's profit margin, so big oil, driven by an insatiable desire to protect its bottom line, might have done whatever possible to stop his invention from getting widespread coverage. Large oil corporations, no names were mentioned in the story, were clearly interested in his project. Meyer ended up being offered over a billion dollars for his patents. All of those offers came from large groups who wouldn't want the everyday person to have free energy. The main reason Stanley Meyer created the water car was to stop oil-rich nations from taking advantage of American consumers. However, since his invention didn't get any widespread media coverage and his death halted the invention in its tracks, that never really happened and gas prices ended up skyrocketing. It has been suggested that the oil industries and the government were trying to censor Meyer's invention. Even the scientific community wouldn't touch his invention. Paul Zeiss, a professor of aeronautics in St. Louis University and affiliate to NASA who has seen Stan Meyer's water cell, explained it like this, It is looked at as a pariah to scientists, and if you touch it creates an image of you that you wouldn't want your colleges to see. In Japan, 
they produced a water-powered car in 2008 that only runs on air and water. Not surprisingly, there has been little to no coverage of this car in America. Stanmeyer was one of the few who wanted to better the world with his inventions and there has still been no justice or serious coverage of this story. His invention was not given the media coverage it deserved.